It is an enormous distraction potentially for management. It takes a lot of time. I assume that was the case for you as well. It did take a lot of time. I continue to spend a lot of time on those priorities. Uh, you have to still you know, watch the films and engage with our businesses on what their strategies are and, and execute against them. So it, it, you can't take your eye off the ball. But another great subject is, int or subject is introduced that it does dilute your time to some extent. Yeah, you got to travel. You got to get in front of shareholders. You got to spend a good amount of time just thinking about it. I mean, did it become personal for you? you no, know, it involved Ike Perlmutter. You and I have talked about this in the past at this very spot, I think. Uh, there's no lo lo love lost between the two of you. Was it a personal kind of uh, contest in some way beyond just a proxy contest? Okay. I on my side, no, meaning um, I was uh, supporting the interests of the company, not my personal interests, and defending what the company and, and the board was doing as opposed to defending myself against uh, criticism uh, from, from Nelson and, and the people who were backing him. Uh, if you're asking whether it's personal on their side, I, you probably should ask him. He probably would say no. I think there probably was, to some extent, um, you know, a degree of a call it personal animus that was on the table here. But well, I did fired him. I mean, he didn't like that. Well, we 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 closed the uh, the Marvel offices, and it, and it, it it did result in Ike leaving the company. But um, I, I, I'm not going to put words in his mouth at all. Um, I had my you know. I, my opinions about it all, but I, again, we were defending the company uh, against the criticism of of, uh, of Mr. Peltz in this case, uh, and uh, tried. I tr actually tried not to consider it a personal attack on me. I didn't think that was really of great benefit to Disney. No, but you're a very competitive person, and you wanted to crush them, didn't you? Uh, I, well, I wouldn't put it that way. Um, <laughs> you I, you, if you're asking me whether we, I wanted the company to prevail, yes, because I, I you know, I, I knew exactly what um, was important to the company. I knew what we were doing, and I was extremely confident. I remain confident and very optimistic about what we're doing. Right. And I just didn't think it was necessary uh, to. Um, you know, essentially bring Nelson Peltz onto the board, nor did the board feel that, given the fact that he didn't bring any new ideas and he, he, he wasn't going to have an impact on the company that we deemed was going to be positive. If anything, there was a belief that it could be a distraction and end up being more destructive than productive. Well, I'm curious on that, because there had been speculation that were he to have won a seat on the board, you might have accelerated your own departure from the company. Is that true? Well, he didn't win a seat on the board, and I am back... Uh, to where I was before all this happened, which is spending 100% of my time on this company, and I'll just leave it at that. It's, but it's important for... It is instructive, for, though, to think about how you were thinking about things if, it's in fact, important that had for, happened. It's important for the management team, uh, working very closely with the board, to have the ability, that includes the time, to focus on the most important matters. And anything that occurs that um, takes away from that, that, is, that distracts us in some form, um, is a negative. And so, um, as, as I said, uh, you know, his presence on the board, we believe, the board believed, could be distracting. And that might have made it very, very difficult for us to do our jobs the way we feel they need to be done.